The idea of the Dignity Vending Machine came about when I was standing in a homelessness shelter speaking to a manager while a young woman came up to the counter to ask two men if she could have some sanitary items. One young man said to the other, do you know where the sanitary items are? And one guy said, no, I think they're upstairs. So off he went, he went upstairs to get them. When he came back down, he said, do you want pads or tampons? And in my head, I was thinking, please just give them both to her. And she said, oh, can I have both? And he said, can she have both? And then at that point I said, please just give them both to her. So at that point I thought, while we could give people sanitary items, well, there had to be a more dignified way for them to have access to the very basic of essentials without having to ask anybody. That's where the Dignity Vending Machines came about. By the time I had left that homelessness hub in Melbourne and flew back to Brisbane, I was on a <laughs> virgin flight and I was reading a magazine and in that magazine had this amazing picture of this beautiful big pink vending machine had nothing to do with Share the Dignity whatsoever. And I thought, that's it, that's what we'll do. We'll have a vending machine that dispenses them. By the time I had got back to Brisbane, I had drawn it out, I knew exactly what I wanted to look for and I just needed somebody to make them for us. The Dignity Vending Machine idea came all together in two hours. Bringing it to life took about 18 months. To be honest, there were a lot of people who said, we don't make vending machines that dispense products for free. The only other vending machine that was around that did dispense for free was a condom machine. Um, but this was unique and it was a world first. So it was the first machine that dispensed free period products. The beauty of this and the innovation behind this was having that timing mechanism, which no one had ever done. Every single one of those machines dispenses this period pack. It is so important that this period pack is always available in those machines. In the first year, the machine is stocked. We have enough stock for the first year, but for every other year that the machine is out there, it uses around $5,000 worth of these stocks. That's 10,000 packs. Every single machine costs us around $5,000. We've got 350 machines. That means we have to have $1.7 million to make sure that our Dignity vending machines are always supplied. It would be my biggest fear to have a woman or a girl walk up to this machine and not have sanitary items and to expect that we could dispense a period pack, but we haven't done our due diligence and made sure that we have enough money to keep these vending machines stocked. But I do know that hearing a story about a young girl who was 14 and living on the streets and knowing to go into a laundromat and steal socks to deal with her period because she didn't have access to the very basic of essentials, she said this would have changed her. This would have allowed her to be able to deal with her period, to be able to maybe apply for a job, to maybe have been able to have the access to go to school because she didn't have period products. This is why we do the Dignity Vending Machines. This is why we make sure that we have enough funds to keep these machines stocked. I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's donated $2 or $200. Every single amount counts. For everybody who's shared our posts, for everybody who's talked about addressing period poverty in Australia, I want to say a huge thank you. Every single one of these packets, every single gift that we give of dignity to a woman in need makes a massive difference to them. Helping our sisters when they can't help themselves is our job. The standard that you walk past is the standard that you accept. Please head to www.sharethedignity.org.au and together we can make a difference.